let's understand connections using entity framework so here what we're doing is we are declaring a school context where the school context it is actually a database context so it inherits from db context so here uh, on configuration, this is the SQL Live database and the connection path that it's going to use. And the benefit of the entity framework is it will manage the connection for you. For example, whenever it needs to check something in the database. So here, you know, ensuring the database is created, it will open the connection and then close it. And again, here, when it's checking if there are any records, it will open and then close the connection for you. And then here, for example, when we save changes to our records, what it will do is it'll open the connection and then close the connection and then here you've got students again a query is being run and you can see when the to list method is called it will actually call the connection and then close it back down so this all is managed because of this context and this context is defined here and you can see it comes from this new school context which in itself is derived from or inherited from this eb context class and all this hard work of opening closing connections is done for you by entity framework and you don't need to worry about opening or closing connections like you used to do with ADO.net. So I hope this makes sense around opening and closing connections. You just need to let Entity Framework deal with that and you don't need to really worry about it unless you have a complex case that you are trying to solve. And remember to watch my previous explanations where I set up this program and I talk a bit more in detail and in future explanations I will be talking more in detail about what all this means. So remember to subscribe to my channel so I can continue to explain away complex topics in an easy understandable manner.